Welcome to the 14th video in Indie Resources, how to make a browser-based demorg with Solids of Valhalla. Uh, in this video we're going to learn how to make equipment and weapons and armor, but basically this video is going to be weapons and the next video will be armor. There's not a whole lot of new stuff in this, just maybe some new techniques, but not a whole lot of new coding. Um, I'll just go ahead and get started on it. What I'm going to show you is basically we're going to add a weapon shop where you can go in and you can just buy a weapon and the weapons are based on whatever you put in the uh, the database and then also once you buy it you can go to equipment and then you can equip it like right now I have the short sword equipped uh, then I can actually uh oh I'm in offline mode gotta love Firefox there we go and it says weapon equipped and I'll go ahead and show you that again let's go back to equipment and you see now the dagger is equipped and you just hit this for the to equip, equip the next one. If you go to equipment, it'll show you that that's equipped, and that way when you're in battle, it'll only use the actual equipped weapon. Um, that's really a whole. That's really all we're going to do. The extent of this video is how to make the weapon shop, how to add it to your equipment. Uh, so let's go into the actual database, and in the database, actually, we needed to make a new table called weapons, and basically with the weapons I just put the ID of the weapon, the name, the rating, price, class, the, in other words what classes can use it, and the level, uh, the level it takes to use it. This way you don't have wizards using big old huge swords and anything like that. Uh, if you notice here's the dagger and short sword I put in here. Any class can use the dagger and only the warrior class can use the short sword. And then you can see the ratings and the price difference. The next one um, would be player weapons. And this will be the actual weapons that oops, all the players have. And the PID, the player ID, that way, you know, player ID is six, which is my player. Uh, that way it knows who owns what equipment. Of course, the name and then basically everything here is the same. Uh, this is actually wrong, but I manually put it in there, but it's fine. The uh, And then the random ID and then you can see here that the quip equals zero, quip equals one, one means true, zero equals false, just a boolean there. Um, that's really it on the database, I didn't didn't have to add anything more to that. Now to go to the actual code. We'll start off with index, which if you notice index here, all we really did was add those links and and new for video 14. Here all I did was is I added that visit weapon shop and then a link to the actual weapon shop and the next how I put the let's go back here real quick how I put this in here I actually put this in panel that way I wouldn't that way that's always there no matter what happens here we've always got this over here because it's in the actual uh, let's see stat panel and let's see where's it at here it is. Uh, I just put a link in here, equipment, a link to the equipment, and I put it right here in stat panel. That way, every time we include statpanel.php, it's already that link is already there, so I don't have to add it to every single page. Um, let's go ahead and go to weapon shop. Here, basically, all I did was all this is standard. You guys should already understand this by now. Um, then I just did a select all from play. Well, that's the same thing, pretty much, as, as everything else, and then our include stat panel. And then here, let's see, we put a counter equals zero, and I'll show you what that means here in a second. Um, class equals then the actual player class, and then the level equals level. And then I just did a basic while uh, query that select all from weapons where class equals the player class. That way, if if I would have been a wizard, I, that short sword wouldn't even showed up underneath the weapon shop for me. I wouldn't even had the chance to buy it. So when we go to weapon shop here. This the reason why these two options are shown because I'm that class. Uh, if I'd have been a wizard, that short sword wouldn't even show up. And oops, that's actually actually how it happened here. And then or let's see, and level is less than or equal to actual level of the player, or class equals any because if if the class is any, then anybody should be able to use it. So I put an or in there. Um, and then if there is anything in a weapon available then counter equals one so we add one to this we at least make the counter one and then we just print the actual weapon and the price and everything like that 
and then if counter equals zero, if there was no available, then we want to make sure to tell the player there's nothing in the store at this time, or nothing you can actually afford, or or, or that's your class. And then we go to, and we put a link up here to buy weapon. So when they do have a weapon, they just go to buy weapon, and all this is is a simple, real quick um, item. It selects all from weapons where ID equals ID. I want to make sure that nobody's, you know, URL jumping through the URL using the trying to get weapons they're not supposed to have so you just first thing check the gold uh, check to make sure the player has enough gold check to make sure the class is right or if the class is that way they aren't trying to get a huge sword when they're a wizard or a thief and then make sure their level is right and then if everything is fine then we um, we get our variables from the actual equipment that the whatever sword or whatever equipment that we're buying and put that in there we make a new random ID and then insert into player weapons uh, and this is where we just insert in the weapon and then the values of everything we're going to put in and then we do update the player we want to take away the gold here's where we minus the gold from the player and then you just put you know the items purchased and you're pretty much done um, and that's really it to buying the weapon now that's in your equipment now we want to look at the equipment so when we hit equipment we got kind of the, the same thing going on in the begin in the top and then we just do a a basic uh, while that we just show select all from player weapons where P player ID equals your ID and it shows you all your weapons then we put if equip equals one then we want to tell the player this is the equipped weapon else if it's not one that means it have to be zero then you just give the option you put that link in there to equip it and if if they do want to equip it then they go to equip.php and then we just go to equipped so when they click it and all this does is it when they click it it um, gets a new randed that way um, actually it pulls the we posted or get the the randed to the URL it's getting that now so that way the reason why I did that is if let's say you have two short swords uh, the randed's not gonna be the same on those so you're actually always equipping the weapon the player clicks on uh, Update player weapon set equip equals zero where the where the what you want to unequip the, the item that is equipped so that's where set zero where equip equals one then we want to um, set equip equals one where player ID and the rand and that way we're actually going to equip it and that's basically it to it it's real simple now we haven't got into battling with them yet but this at least gets us a start to where you can actually buy the weapons and you can equip them the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do armor next do the exact same thing with armor we're doing here that'll be in the next video and that video will be really soon. Uh, matter of fact, I have it done. We do, so you sh it should be posting about the same time. Then right after that, then we're gonna we're gonna make it to where we can sell our weapons, put them in an auction where anyone on your on your game can can buy them, and then actually use them in battle. That's that's one important thing.